Football team will play its first game since Jess Charles died of a heart attack Friday. The Pirates will host Cincinnati in Minji's Coliseum tomorrow night. ECU Athletics Director John Gilbert says they will have a moment of silence before the game and a special halftime tribute featuring Jeff's most iconic calls during his 35 years as the voice of the Pirates. It will be called the Paint It Purple Game in honor of Jeff's signature line whenever ECU won a game. I caught up with his longtime radio partner, Cy Seymour. They spent 23 years together side by side on game nights and even sharing a hotel room while on the road. The games in the future for a while will say, where's Jeff? You're, you're going to miss him. It's hard to replace an icon, a guy that is has made his stamp, and everybody knew they had the best. Blocked by the Pirates in the end zone. Terrence Copper got the football. Touchdown, Pirates. Matt Maloney named him the voice, and he was the voice of ECU Athletics. Bryce Williams with a catch for the Pirates and the touchdown for East Carolina. During the game, he was very neutral. He did it the right way for both ball clubs, but at the end of the game when we'd win it, he would say, you can paint this one purple. He was just that good. And that's the way to end it, and you can paint this one purple. There should be a scholarship in his name or naming of the booth at the football stadium in his name. I think you've got to do something like that because he was so, he's, an, he, he's, he's embedded in this for 30 years. He is the guy. He is the voice. ECU plans to honor Jeff Charles throughout the year for all the things he's done behind the mic and in the community. He always had his charity motorcycle ride every year. And we're mourning the loss of Steve Lovett, the former Newburn High and J.H. Rose football coach, died from liver cancer. He had been fighting the good fight for a couple of years. Coach Love was a Newburn coach from 1999 to 2019, including a stint as the interim head coach in 2016. Love was also an assistant baseball coach, then went to J.H. Rose to be their defensive coordinator from 2019 under Will Bland. Coach Love died yesterday morning. He was 50 years old. NASCAR Speed Week at Daytona International Speedway starts tomorrow, and one of the big storylines is the return of Jimmy Johnson. The seven-time champion going to run a part-time schedule while also being an owner of Legacy Racing. Jimmy teaming up with Richard Petty Enterprises to run the 84 car. You know, that's the reverse numerals of the 48 car, which he drove to seven titles. And there's also the fact he's won 83 races, and one more trip to victory lane would be... It was more of a secondary uh, kind of nod and, hey, you know, have 83, looking for 84 wins, 84 wins in the 84 car. You know, add another layer as to uh, why we did it. We'll see if that happens. Jimmy will have to qualify for the Daytona 500. Front row qualifying is tomorrow night. Twin qualifying race is Thursday night. The Daytona 500 is Sunday. You can catch the rest of your ENC sports on our website, WCTI12.com. I'm Brian North for News Channel 12.